Did Mars have a crustal shift? With all the changes seen throughout the solar system, not just on Earth, many of you are coherently demonstrating your comprehension of the solar system shift, and as you integrate that with the geologic history of potential Earth crustal shift, the Earth turning over, swaying like a drunkard, you have begun to ask pertinent questions, and to be honest, it's nice to see. One of your best questions is about whether other planets turn over, have crustal shifts, etc. Some of you look to Uranus, already tilted on its side, or you look to Venus, the only planet spinning the wrong way and currently slowing down its rotation. I look to Mars, but not in the way most catastrophists do. For years, catastrophists have looked to Valles Marineris, and that's a great place to look at arc discharge strike points for the cosmic thunderbolt during a major solar disaster, but that doesn't really help us with the crust turning, does it? But this does. This is the crustal auroral magnetic anomaly map of Mars, where the surface region is most tied to those energetic signatures, rather than the polar region auroras like on Earth. The key here is Tharsis Montes, the line of three volcanoes in between Valles Marineris and Olympus Mons. Surely, the largest mountain in the solar system and the red planet's version of the Grand Canyon are more enticing to most astronomers, but is that the case when you add in the magnetic anomalies? Let's see the crustal formations here, and then to the north and west of them, we see the same magnetic anomaly geometry, but out of place by modern comparison. Folks, this kind of matchup between geologic features and magnetic anomalies is pretty uncanny, and the chance of random coincidence is exceptionally low. We know that on Earth there is major global electric circuit and geomagnetic anomalies tied to volcanic regions and to major geological features, and we even know that Jupiter's moon Io has major electrical inner system connections because of the electric particle discharge related to its volcanoes. So this is a potential indicator that Mars had a crustal shift like Earth, that those three magnetic anomalies used to line up with Tharsis Montes. It would be driven by an arc discharge, which would have created Valles Marineris, which is what many catastrophists believe, and which most modern catastrophists believe could unlock the Earth's crust from the mantle. Now, without actually going to Mars and doing the kind of high-detailed geological studies we can do on Earth, we are left simply calling it a very suspicious coincidence. But I do believe it is more than that, especially since there are not any gravitational anomalies in the region of the three current magnetic anomalies, so we know that the current position of those magnetic anomalies are not related to something else in the traditional sense. Mars magnetic anomalies, Uranus on its side, Venus slowing down and spinning the wrong way, and Earth and Mars both speeding up their rotation. Yes, I think there is ample evidence to suggest that Earth isn't the only planet that sways like a drunkard in the disaster. I'll see you in the morning for the Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.